here we have the fifth contest of the evening, a light middleweight bout between Johnny the Pexican Garten versus Stanislav Nenkov. I know a bit about Johnny Garten, I know he's coming out of the iBox gym under the tutelage of Al Smith and Eddie Lamb, who I'm pleased to say are good friends of mine that I've worked corners with many a times and got a great little stable there as we were talking about up here, Josh, fighting Stanislav Nenkov in his 11th or in his 12th debut, in his 12th fight, sorry, winning seven, won by KO, losing four, and being stopped in one. So it'd be a good test for Garten. Garten and Millwall, Millwall fan. Coming out the same stable of Bradley Ski, Ricky Bolan, and the likes. So he's getting good, good sparring and good preparation, I'm sure. Good upbeat stables here, Pop as well. They're all winning, all got big title fights coming up as well. So, really good atmosphere to training. And then Kov, looking to try and goad Garten in there, but Garten staying nice and controlled, boxing very nice to start off with. Interesting fight name, the Pexican, Josh, so people said he fights like a Mexican and because he's from Peckham and hence the Pexican was born, so it's, a, it's an interesting one. And a good amateur pedigrees, won two London Novice ABA uh, titles, also won two sub, sorry, South East Divisional titles as well, so you know, he's uh, got a good amateur pedigree, he's in a good stable and, and he's shown that first of all with a comfortable performance so far. Just looking to go Nenkov in. Lovely combination there, jab right uppercut and then a left hook to the body. It, it, look, it also look, looks like it hits a lot harder than someone that's had one, only one stoppage. He looks like he's got Nenkov's respect quite early on, so yeah, maybe his record's a bit deceiving on his power. Certainly the sound of it, especially that left hook to the body there, very nicely turned in by Garton there, very, very nice. Nenkov's obviously fought in the UK twice before, but losing both. He did fight Philip Bowes, who fights later on in the card. Josh, on the Steve Goodwin fighter, I believe, as well. So he fights with a, in a tough fight tonight, which is Paul Appleby. That'll be a really good fight to look forward to. But the opening round here, nice and controlled, I think, by Garton. Very, very comfortable. I like the look of him, Garton. He moves very well. He's, he's got some good moves. He's turned that body shot in a couple of times. Very impressive guy. It's the first time I've seen him, but very impressive so far. Carries that left hand low, but it seems like it's part of his style. And he's oh, that's lovely, lovely again. Shot. The right uppercut, left hook to the body, and Nenkov backs off and calls him in, which we know is generally a sign that he's quite hurt the way he calls in. The left hook to the body's worked very well for Garten in the first round. Very, very well. Lovely from Garten. Stalking. Looking to bring. And a very comfortable opening of first round from Garton. Very impressive in there, looked very, very good. every minute of it. So round two of this fight middleweight contest. Johnny the Pexican Garton versus Stanislav Nenkov. And a very comfortable opening round from Johnny Garton. Very in control. And just worked it with his work rate alone. And Garton started the second round pretty much as the first round finished in, in total control, looking to put his shots together. Nenkov getting in with a left hook to the body there, but Garton answering straight back. Lovely combinations from Garton, pressing Nenkov back to the ropes around the 1-2. Left hook and right hand from Garton there. Garton was managed by the, the, the late Dean Powell, but obviously, unfortunately, since he's passed, he's changed managers. It's now managed by Adam Booth, obviously known for trainer David Hay and former trainer of St George Groves. But very nice head move from Garton. Just stalking Nenkov at the moment, just trying to draw Nenkov in, and Nenkov doing not much apart from rotating around the ropes. Garton's had an answer of him turning that left hook to the body and just under the right elbow there and just missing with the right hand to the head there. Very controlled Garton and only his 11th fight, winning all 10 so winning all ten so far, only one by KO, as Josh mentioned in the first round. Does look like he's look, does look he, like he hits harder than his record suggests with only the one the one stoppage. Just generally doing the cleaner work and working much harder in this round. And looking like a, a class operator. It'll be interesting to see how 
far data can go is is actually registered as a welterweight on box rec, but obviously stepping up to light middle for this contest today. So it'll be interesting to see going forward whether he continues at welterweight or whether he makes a step up to light middle. The welterweight and the light middleweight position is full of talented, talented boys, and Garton can fit right in there. A good exchange of shots there from both Nenkov and Garton, but Garton's still massively in control in this round. Really stalking Nenkov. Nenkov just moving around the ring, pretty much moving to his left the whole time, Nenkov. Apart from him, where he moves to the right. And Garton, nice and controlled, keeping his distance, not getting drawn in. Lovely movement, looking for that left hook to the body. Nenkov answering with a couple of shots from there, but missing. And Garton again, looking just to move his head, just to move his feet in and go Nenkov in. Looking like he's trying to counter punch. Showing his good amateur pedigree, as we said in the last round, he, he got to two or won two London Novice finals. So he has been around the sport for a while and, and very experienced as an amateur. And again, another opening and classy round from Garton, controlling the round the whole time and by having two rounds up. Stanislav Nenkov. Just a little bit of a delay to the start of the, the third round. And we've got Garton winning these first two rounds of the scheduled six rounder. If you're wondering that Josh has been quiet for the last two rounds, he's been called off to do a job for his dad, Steve Gilbin, who's the promoter tonight, so that's why he's gone a bit quiet. Nice right hand from Garton there. Garton again, just looking to establish himself in this round. He's, he's won the first two rounds comfortably. Nice right hand there from close work. The ref splitting, just telling Nenkov to keep his head up. And he's working well, Garton here. He's, he's putting his shots together nicely. Bit of a quiet round to start to the third round so far. Not so much action happened so far. Got the feeling that it could explode at any minute. Nenkov getting him with a double left hook there. The second one just landing to Garton's face. Wasn't at all phased by it. And Garton answering back. And a bit of a slip there from Nenkov. I don't think it was a shot, but it's enough to draw Garton on. And a nice right hand there. And that slip seems to have given him a bit of confidence, Garton. I don't think it was from a shot. I think it looked like he slipped on the advertising on the canvas. But it was enough to encourage the Mexican to come forward. Nice right uppercut and a right hand. Just gets caught with a lazy right hand there as he pulls out Garter from Nenkov, but certainly nothing to worry him. Garter with a double jab there, just establishing. Gets caught again from a lazy right hand from Nenkov, as twice Garter has been caught from that. So they have been lazy right hands from Nenkov. And as mentioned before, Josh is joining me back now, so you might hear him again now. So Garton's been very in control for this fight so far. Not a lot happened in, in this round, and it's been very comfortable from Garton. It's been, been in no stretch of the means of classic so far, Josh, but it's uh, been a confident and mature performance in his 11th fight, Johnny the Pexican Garton. He does everything right, doesn't he? Drops the body nicely. Obviously feels very confident fight of his hands low. Yeah, he's put together some good things. We, we mentioned the first round that he carries that, that left hand low, but he pulls the left shoulder round, so he seems he seems quite comfortable. And quite confident in his ability, and it's easy to see that he's leagues above Stanislav yeah. Nenkov, and that's no disrespect to Nenkov, but he hasn't really had an answer for Garten, and I say it's been nowhere near a classic but it's been a, a very comfortable performance from Garton and all you can do is beat the person in front of you and that's what Johnny Garton's doing so far for three rounds. So round four of the light midweight contest between Johnny Garton and Stanislav Nenkov. 
hasn't been the most exciting fight to watch Josh, but it's been a comfortable performance from Garton. Rocking then off there with the jab, it looks like our Smith and Eddie Lamb in the corner have just asked him to turn the screws a little bit more because it looks like those first shots that Garton through this round has been a, with a bit more intensity and a bit more spite in them. Yeah, it'd be good to see him get another stoppage on his record, but I think that Nenkov seems really tough and durable. He seems like a tough guy. I mean, it'd be interesting to see if, if Garton does now grip down on the canvas a little bit more and, and start to turn the shots and work in the body there. But as you say, Nenkov, he's only been stopped once. He's lost four, but been stopped once. So, you know, he's by no means the immovable object. He can be stopped. So if Garton does start to put a little bit more spite into his shots, it'd be interesting to see if he can get the stoppage. And he might have got the stoppage with that wild right hand if that had a land there, but whistle past Nenkov's nose and chin there. Lead left hook from Garton, dropping nicely down to the right hand to the body. The referee just tends to keep the shots up. Exchanging the jabs and nice right to the head, two right hands to the head there from, from Garton. Garton establishing that double jab and so far had it all his own way. Oh, good shot. Oh, a couple of shots there from Ninkov, yeah. Doesn't seem phased by it. Ninkov is the one that looks like he hasn't got the power at all. He's got one KO to his name, Josh. And I know his stoppage, it, it, his win by stoppage was a long time ago, back in uh, August of last year. But that was over in Bulgaria, so you know it's difficult to know exactly how good his opponent yeah, was. Yeah, exactly how stopped. good his opponent was, and the opponent that he stopped uh, was only a, a a fighter, and his second fight who'd lost his first fight. So you know the guy that he stopped perhaps wasn't the, the class his opponent. It's, uh, it's a sure indication that. Garton's levels above the guy that he stopped. Reckon obviously Al Smith giving him some instructions there as Nenkov is looking for a gum shield by the looks of it or the referee stopped the fight oh, here. I think he's got tape coming on to his glove. Oh he's got the tape the glove that's it. So Garton stalking in the corner there looking to Al Smith for some encouragement and those that know Al Smith has, has always got a word to say. Al Smith, he's given him plenty of instructions, hasn't he? Yeah. Our one-liner Smith, he likes to get his, uh, he's got some cracking one-liners. I've, I've worked some corners with him and he's a, he's a very, very funny man. And Eddie Lamb in the corner there. And they're a great team at Ibox and they're a fairly unknown stable that are starting to get recognition now. They've got everything. But... Oh, Nenkov after having his gloves tape off has come out of a flurry and that's drawn Garton into the, the fight now. And a bit of tape comes flying off of Nenkov's gloves and finally this, this fight's opened up a little bit there as Nenkov's just threw a few like see Nenkov do that a bit more. Got yeah. Garten going as well. That's what we've been waiting for this fight to do really, just sort of kick off. It's always had that feeling that it's been a bit tentative and we're waiting for it to kick off. And for a brief second there it did come to life a little bit. <coughs> Nenkov getting warned about his head there. Lovely right hand pushing Nenkov back there from Garton. Left hook, right hand, both blocked from Nenkov there. Garton with his hands down, as we said earlier, Josh is obviously confident enough to box that way. Confident as ability. I think Garton knows that oh, Nenkov has got the power to hurt him. A lovely left hook to the body there to end the round, and it's a comfortable performance so far from Garton. So round five of the scheduled six round of Garton versus Nenkov and the round started but Nenkov is having his shoelace tied at the end, end of the round there and we've got Garton easily four rounds ahead. It's failed to catch a light this fight so far but it did threaten to, to spring into life in the last round when Nenkov after having his gloves taped threw a bit of a, a flurry of punches and it drew Garton out of his shell a little bit. And, a nice little dance about there, they had there swinging each other around. Nice right hand from Garton. And again, three shots from Garton there, all being blocked from Stanislav Nenkov. From the homeland of Bulgaria, in his 12th fight tonight. He's ranked number two in Bulgaria at light middle. Mind you, 
it says that Bulgaria only have seven ranked light middleweights. And he, this is ranked number two, Nenkov. So good combination from Garland there. Garson, sorry. Nice jab left hook, just tried there from Garton, blocked by Nenkov. Right hand, just bouncing the gloves of Garton there. And Garton looking for the left hook to the body. And again, look at the left hook to the body, but blocked by Nenkov. And again, Josh is sort of really failed just to catch a light this fight. Good head move from Garton, looking to move his feet in. and. You know, you can't be critical of Garton from this. It's very difficult to, to beat an opponent or look good against an opponent that's not come to throw a lot back. And he's kept his hands high, he's got long arms, well, so it protects the body well, so it's hard to break him down. Yeah, these can be very difficult. Sometimes it's harder to fight someone that doesn't throw a lot of stands and someone that comes in as a go. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's a key that Garton's got to unlock. And It's a learning fight for Garn, and he's in his 11th fight. I mean, we should be looking to see him sort of stepped up now, but he'll need fights like this. He's going to need to fight opponents with good defences, and Garn's going to need to find a way through. Exactly. He's done everything he's had to do to get the stoppage, but you can't, you can't complain about that, get the rounds in the best way to learn. A lovely right hand from Garton there, straight down the middle, straight down the pipe that caught Ninkov. Ninkov come back with a, a left hook, right hook there. Bounced off the chin of Garton, but didn't really seem too troubled by it. I've got to say, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed with Nenkov tonight. Josh, I thought he was going to come and have a, a bit more of a go than he has done. He hasn't really done an awful lot and asked many questions of Garton. I mean, Garton has been good, don't get me wrong, but I, I would like to have seen Nenkov just have a bit more of a go than he's had. Especially his record, you thought he's uh, be, be a proud man, want to get a win on his record. But... Absolutely, I mean, he's too intent on uh, just getting through it. He's won seven, lost four, but yeah, I think you're right. I think he's just been intent on coming here and, and getting through the fight. So we have the final round of the light middleweight contest between Johnny Lepex in Garten and Stanislav Nenkov, and it's been a comfortable five rounds wins for Johnny Garton who's controlled this fight. Nenkov hasn't really done a great deal of last any questions of Garton really. And, oh, nice right hand left hook from Garton there getting through. And I would like to see Garton just turn it on a little bit now, see if he can get the stoppage, Josh. But on, I think Nenkov's defense is just too tight at the moment. On the flip side of that though, there's no reason for Garton to take crazy risks. He's winning the fight and he's winning the fight comfortably and sometimes if you go looking for the stoppage, you can get caught with a silly shot. So, you know, although we'd like to see that, try and turn the screw to try and get the stoppage, which makes it more exciting for people watching at the end of the day, Garton hasn't got to do that. He's here to get the win and, and exactly. that's what he's doing so far. I would so. like to see Garton step off his uh, opposition in the new year though. He's 11 and a half today, far enough to go wrong the last round. So, maybe see a here a title in the new year for him. Yeah, I think he's got to start stepping out now. I think he's got to try and, as you said, go for the, you know, the southern area or maybe a British master, something like that. I think the southern area would probably be a, be a better route for him, and it's a slightly bigger title. But it's um, nice right hand there from Garton. It'd be interesting to see how they move him from here. As I mentioned earlier, Josh, he's, he's ranked as a welterweight, although this is a light middleweight. So whether he will stay at a welter or, or stay at light middle, I'm not really sure if that's a, just a clerical error on the. On the, on the point of him being a welterweight, but he's got good movement, Garton. I mean, he's got everything. I mean, if you're being critical, you perhaps say he gets caught with the odd shot as he pulls away. As he pulls away, as he goes into attack, he seems to keep his hand because he's got his hand low. He's, he's a bit slow coming out, so he has been caught a few times from the few shots that Nenkov has thrown. But Nenkov hasn't got the power to hurt him. But that's the only thing I would say from today about Garton needs to do is just as he pulls out just needs to come out a bit quicker or or, keep, or keep his hands up as he comes away but I think his style is his, his hands low so maybe he's just got to come out of that a little bit quicker yeah exactly yeah I don't think he's going to turn into a hands up kind of uh, boxer and Nenkov coming in there with a few shots but none of them getting through Garton keeping his, keeping his hands up and moving well oh, nice there from Garton 
Steps around the side and in front of the straight right hand. Barnes a quarter now, getting behind him, maybe encouraging for the stoppage. Yeah, it's starting to feel up nice, is a, a good atmosphere, Josh. An atmosphere here and you know Garton has just you know beat the guy in front of him, that's all you can ask him to do. And you know, it's, it's not gonna go down as a, a small hall classic, but a win's a win, and that's what he's, he's done today. doing it as well, I'd say. Yeah, he's, he's been very impressive, Garton, and very box very, very nicely. We haven't learned a lot about Johnny Garton tonight that we didn't already know. We know he's a class operator, but won all six rounds in my book, and, and I think the iBox gym and Al Smith and Eddie Lamb will be happy with his performance. He was a, a tough guy to fight against. We said it's hard to look good against someone with such an awkward defensive style.